Hello and welcome to Rune Factory 5, where we are just getting into a new day. Day 13 of Autumn. Before we go anywhere, I want to see about what new we can craft here. Now that we have Oricalcum, Lamellar Vest. But why are the Wind Cloaks stats so much better? Shouldn't this be the better one since it's a much higher difficulty? Is there some kind of a hidden benefit to wearing the lamellar vest? Oh, I want to take a look at the other craftables too. Ah, Grimoire Scale. Alright. I guess this would be a better version of the scarf that we are currently using. We just don't have all of the required materials. And headgear? Well, the Four Seasons headdress would be lovely. But we'll first have to find all of the different seasonal headdresses or the recipes for them. Hmm. Should we make some strider boots for people? Well, we'll see about that later. First, I want to look after our fields and monster friends and uh, do our farm chores. Make sure that we have enough RP to do that. And then we'll see about maybe crafting something. Let's get these rocks. So, nice. Valentine's All Day right. yesterday. I loved it. It was so great to interact with everybody. All oh, right. All right. except for Julian. Uh, I kind of um lost track of time nice. interacting with people and then when I realized right. it was as nice. late as it was, I kind of um... Nice. Kind of uh, was right. so surprised by the time that I didn't really think things through. It wouldn't have taken all that much more time to go do the cookie thing with Julian as well. But um, oh well, what's done is done. And I'm sure it wouldn't have made such a big difference to our friendship with Julian anyway. Yes! Alright! The main thing is that we saw all of the uh, cookie nice, nice. interactions with the um, romance candidates. Yes. 
the interactions with the other people were very sweet oh, right. too. Yes. But um. Well. Nice. I kind of think maybe Ludmila and Rika were my favorites. And then it was really sweet of uh, Priscilla all right, all right. to ask to go for a walk with us. All right. It's too bad that we didn't have space for Martin in our party when he asked to uh, to go mining with all us. Right. I wasn't really prepared for right. people to ask to accompany us somewhere. So that was a nice surprise that they can do that. Yes. Looks like we can indeed continue the uh, event with Cecil and Terry today. So we'll do our farm chores first and then we'll see about that. It's probably going to be the uh, battle of wits and um, I'm uh, kind of not very good at puzzle solving. So, we'll see how that goes. At least it'll be fun to get to see the event. No matter whether it goes well or nice. not so well nice. for us. I'm sure all of the outcomes are um, yes. are nice. Huh. 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 Nice. All right, was that the? No, there are a couple more stumps and at least one more branch left. All right. All right. All right. Nice. Huh. 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 Nice. All right. Now we'll get the stones and drops. Huh. All right. Huh. Huh. I kind of also want to, well, not in this episode, but in our afternoon episode. Right. So, uh, yes. In the next episode, I kind of want to go and uh, see if I can tame the purple right. dragon right. at Calamity's Edge. Nice. Nice. That room in the monster barn nice. on the wind yes. dragon is going to be very full if we can put four dragons in it. There, there. The dragons are so huge. There, there. There we go, that's all taken care of. Let's go see to the other monster friends in here. And to the loot, nice. of course, as oh, well. Right. Nice. There, there. There, there. Now that I know that we don't really need to be even all yes. that close to the there, monster there. that we want to brush, there, we just need there. to have its name there, there. show there, up. There. Um, up there where the uh, monster we are nice, targeting. Nice shows 
so we kind of just need to brush in the general direction there, there. of there, where there. the monster we want to brush there, there. is. All right. This isn't so bad now that I know that. I'm kind of getting used to it. Let's once again put some things away to make room in our inventory for the, uh, well, for the loot that we are going to get from our remaining monster friends. And then from the resources that we are going to harvest from uh, the field on on um terra dragon there we go i think that's probably hopefully enough inventory space let's go and take care of our flowers well most of them anyway. One of the flowers is living on Terra Dragon. But four of them are here. Alright! Nice! Nice! There, there. There, there. There, there. And one more. There, there. I think that was all of them. Moving on to Wind Dragon. To say hello to our dragon. Hopefully in the next episode we'll get a friend for this dragon here. It's so tall that we can't even see the musical notes above its head, but I'm just going to trust that the brushing worked and had the desired effect. Some crops are ready to harvest, but we'll do this first. There, 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 there. All right. There, there. I think that was everyone. Let's do the watering and harvesting. There we go. Aha, uh -huh. you're done. Sweet potato. Grow big and strong, okay? I hope it comes out okay. Watering time. Oh, you're done as well. Leek? Time to eat! Oh, I didn't actually mean to eat that. But, um... I hope it comes out okay. Fine. Well, let's get these bamboo shoots. Nice! Nice! And go bash some rocks and stones. All right, all right. There are a few of them here. Huh. 
There All we right. go. All right. Huh. All right. Huh. Huh. Quite a few weeds huh. today. Huh. That's nice though because they are yes, useful yes. All right. for the uh, fertilizer thing. Huh. Now we yes. just have the herbs and branches and stumps left. Shouldn't take too much nice. longer. All right. All right. And the uh, cucumber there is actually grown. All right. And it's going to keep on producing, it seems. branch. Yes. All right. Let's go and put some things away from our inventory. And also, I think we have a quest that we have completed. So let's go turn that in. It was the ride a monster. So, you went for a ride on one of your monsters. That must have been fun. Oh, it was. Here, use this the next time you head out on an adventure together. Yes! Iron Waltz. I'll have to see about what that does at some point. Hmm. I don't really know how to um how to harvest oranges or where to find a twinkle tree. I guess, do we have some orange tree seedlings actually? Did we find some in a, in a treasure chest or something? I think we may have some somewhere. And of course, when oranges are in season, and when we see them on a tree, just kind of in the wild, we can use our, um, what was it? Our, the, uh, our seal. We can use our seal to knock the fruit out of the tree and then collect it. I guess, would that count as harvesting it? Hmm. Maybe it would. Let's make a couple of lawns. Uh, 
and once again we'll add some herbs. We have a lot of these. And uh, this one uses the medium sized ingredients. So it's going to be a lower level thing by default, I think. So we'll up the level with that. Hmm. Let's go and uh, see about that event. I'm so not good at solving riddles, though. Well, we'll see what happens. Well then. Okay, I have everything ready for our battle of wits. First, take a look at these guys. These are the suspects in your case. Huh? What did they do? Nothing special, just a little burglary. I've recreated this from a case I took on some years ago, so none of them are actually burglars. I just asked them to give the same statements I heard back then. Ask them some questions, listen to what they have to say, and figure out who's lying. Though I doubt you'll find that very hard to do. <laughs> Wait, is that it? Then this will be easy. Sorry, Hazel, but I think I'm gonna win. Just watch. Okay, here I go. All of you, tell me what you were doing last night. Last night, I was asleep. Though, I don't have anybody who can back me up on that. I was hanging out with my friend yesterday. Just ask him. I was working with my co-worker until dawn. He can vouch for me. I was by myself, just drinking the night away. Not much I can say besides that. That's awfully vague. And there you go. So who's the culprit? Hmm. Huh? That's all the clues we get? I got it. The culprit is... you. Oh, what makes you think it was him? He doesn't have an alibi. The other three all have someone to back them up. That means it must be him. Well, makes sense. Gotcha. Now, what do you think, Hazel? Well, the dude in red doesn't uh... have an alibi either. And uh, his description of drinking all by himself was awfully vague. He couldn't even tell us where he was drinking. 
um, I'm gonna go with him. The guy in the hood was totally upfront about not having any, uh, anybody to hmm. corroborate his story. Aha, uh -huh. so you picked the man in the red, huh? What's your reasoning? He admitted to drinking alone, so he doesn't have anyone to back up his story. If he were drinking at a bar, well, he didn't say he was. Don't you think the bartender might remember him? As for the lack of an alibi, the man in the hood doesn't have one either. Oh well. Sheesh, both of you are wrong. Hmm. Darn it, I messed up again. My deduction skills need a whole lot of work. So I'm going to spend more time observing people and learning how to spot lies. That's the spirit when it comes to detective skills, having the determination to push forward despite major setbacks is the most important skill of all. If you have that, then I know you'll make a good detective one day. Thanks. Until that day comes, I'm going to work my hardest. I still think the man in red had the most suspicious story. It was so vague. Oh well. Um. I think. Before we end the episode. I'm going to see about the crafting and. Maybe medicine making. See if we can make some potions. Not really. At least, uh, none of the more potent ones. Olive clover. Hmm. We could make some cold medicine. But I would kind of like to make more of the magical potions. Yeah, more magical potions and more Formula A. So, for Formula A, we'd need more black grass. And for more magical potions, we'd need more Ellie leaves. Let's see about the uh, crafting. I guess we would want to make better armor for our friends. The wind cloak, at least based on the stats that are given, like, um, that are clearly given here. The wind cloak is our best option. We'll make as many of these as we can. And then maybe we'll make some lamellar vests as well. Because I think some people have some uh, pretty basic armor on them. 
like male or or something so it'll be quite an upgrade for them whether they get a wind cloak or a lamellar vest Yeah, we don't have wind crystals or uh, cloth to make more of those, so let's make some lamellar vests. Maybe like a couple of them. That's altogether four more good armors that we can give people. Hmm. Maybe we'll just uh, have those four put them in our storage. Yeah, that's enough for now. We'll save the rest of our RP or adventuring. So in the next episode I think I'm going to go see if I can tame us a purple dragon and uh, we'll maybe also start Murakumo's heart event. Until then though Thank you so much for spending time with me here on the Mellow. It was lovely to have you. I'd like it if you'd leave me a like. And if you're not already subscribed, then please do subscribe. Do conveniently keep up with my content. And do show me that you want to keep watching my videos. Remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you next time.